This summer's London Olympics captured the attention of people around the world, and we had some athletes from the Kansas City area make the trip across the pond to represent the United States. Maurice Mitchell was one of those athletes, and he's back in KC now. Maurice, welcome to the show. And first of all, I got to ask, you're named to the Olympic team. What goes through your head? Oh, man, it was unbelievable. Um, I'm still in shock now, realizing that I'm an Olympian. Uh, it, it's an amazing feeling. It's a blessing. You know, I know not a lot of athletes, you know, make it this far. So it's, um, it's an unbelievable feeling. Now, what events did you compete in in London? Um, I competed in the 200. In the 200. Now, how long were you in London? Did it Was it weird to get used to the time difference and being across the pond? Oh, yeah. I was there for about three weeks before I competed. So it, it was it was a... a a, a, a adjustment for me um, uh, again just to the time and getting my body getting ready to, to compete on, on the world stage so it, it was definitely um, hard to adjust to but I got used to it and, and I was really excited to compete and you were telling me you didn't get a lot of time to sightsee it was all business over there oh yeah it is I mean it's not as fun as what people think you know <laughs> it's my, the main goal for every athlete is to get a uh, get a medal so um, that was my goal um, at the end of the day was to get a medal but I got a chance to see a couple of things um, as I got running down a competition. Now, what was it like to be in the same event as Usain Bolt? He's the fastest man in the world. Uh, it was amazing. Um, it, was, it was obviously um, nerve-wracking um, even seeing the guy, but um, I was glad to be able to be part of uh, the guy, um, that atmosphere and being able to be one of the fastest guys in the world, so I was really happy to be, be on that stage. I asked you I asked you earlier uh, when we were backstage if he was your idol, and you were like, no, who is your idol? Um, it was Marius Green. You know, Marius Green's always been an idol of mine in the Kansas City area, running at KU Relay, so I've always looked up to him, and um, I was, he was actually there um, watching me run and obviously watch other athletes run. Now, you are from Raytown, correct? Yes. Okay, so what are you doing back in town? That's what I want to know. Uh, I'm actually really giving back to the community. I went to my mom's school um, in Border Star. went to my dad's school at Rest Ridge. Um, I went to Raytown South High, where I graduated, went to Raytown South Middle. So I'm pretty much doing a lot of things, getting involved in the community back home, giving back, you know, um, just telling kids about um, what it takes to, to you know, reach your goals and hard work. So that's pretty much what I've done um, here back in Kansas City. Uh, you visited your former coach this week. Was that like a homecoming of sorts? Um, it, it, it was. He came to London, so I, I got a chance to spend time with him in London, and uh, it was exciting to, to see him. And he came to the house, and I was re I was really glad to you know come back. And obviously, I, w I went to his school um, at Johnson County Community College, and I, you know I talked to his athletes, track athletes, and and it was a good it was a good um, experience for me and telling the, the young track athletes what it takes to be number one in the world and number one in the U.S. Good to be home? Oh yeah, definitely good to be home. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to be back home. It was a, a fun journey. You know, Kansas City is, is, is you know, where I come from, so I, I will never forget, you know, where I come from. What are you doing now? Um, now I'm, I'm running for Nike. I have, I have a nice um, contract look, running for Nike. Look at you. That's awesome. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm having a baby on the way with my wife. Uh, having a son, um, Mahari Mitchell. And I'm just pretty much just training, getting ready getting prepared for the next Olympics in, in Rio and, and just trying to make a life for myself. Yes, do you have Rio on the brain? Are you totally focused on Rio? Um, yes, this is a little bit further away. Right now I'm just really focused on um, world championships, which they have every two years, so that they have that in Moscow. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm just pretty much training for that and getting ready to get stronger and faster for that. And finally, any advice that you have for some maybe aspiring track stars out there? Somebody sees this interview, they're a high school student, they think they can run? Advice? Oh yeah, I, I, was, I would just, you know, really tell you guys that, you know, never give up. Always dream big, um, no matter what you do in track and field or if any basketball, football, just, you know, keep working hard. Um, and never give up on that. And, and if, it de if it doesn't happen, don't, don't be satisfied with, with that. Awesome. Congratulations, my friend, Thank and welcome you. back. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's check in with Michelle and Kansas City Kelly, like Kansas City's mama, Kelly Snyder. Fall is the perfect time to shake things up and try something new with your makeup. So we want to give...